I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber, Mr. Srinivas. Mr. Srinivas, thanks a lot for sharing this question and also letting me know how important it is for you to find the fifth roots. Now you calculate critical depth using the formula fifth root of 2q square over gm square and for one of the examples you have value qs2 gs 9.81 and m equals to 1.5 now if you substitute all these values what you get is something like this now if you use calculator then you get fifth root of that big decimal number now fifth root is always a irrational number and so we will always estimate it now if we just look into what you have there uh, fifth root means if I could write this as let me let me just elaborate more on this if I move my decimal five places let's say one two three four five then what I get here is a number which is three six two four four point one nine five 10 to the power of 5. Is it okay? A number like this. Now always when you have to find the fifth roots, uh, you could say this is equal to something divided by 10 since fifth root of 10 to the power of 5 will be this and, uh, and 8 to the power of 5 is this number. So you'll get 8 divided by 10. So you could uh, estimate this to 0 0.8, right? Since uh, you know what 8 to the power of 5 is equal to 8 to the power of 5 is equals to 3 2 7 6 8 right so <laughs> 8 to the power of 5 is 3 2 7 6 8 which is kind of 3 6 so it is definitely more than that right so it is definitely more but you could estimate that it is approximately 0.8 well, if you have a calculator, you could calculate that and actually get the right answer also. Now, in this particular video, we will understand how to estimate from here. So we'll actually begin with uh, the fifth root of the number given to us, which is 2 times 2 square. So I'll write this as 2 times 2 times 2, right? The denominator is 9.81 times 1.5 times 1.5 now to find the fifth root it's a good idea to make here five twos so I could multiply by two twos right in the numerator and also in denominator correct so if I do this what do I get I get fifth root of 2 to the power of 5 and in the denominator, I get 9.81 times. If I multiply, I get threes. Now, we could again multiply by threes to get five threes. That is one thing we could have done. The other estimate which we can do is that we can say 9.81 is equals to three times, three times, some error. Some error E, correct? Now, introducing an error is basically estimate. Perfect. So, so I could write this as equal to. I'm showing you the steps, right? Once uh, the steps are clear, it's very easy to calculate. So, so I'm writing 9.81 as 3 times 3 times some error, right? Times 3 times 3. But I have four threes. Let me introduce another three in the numerator and also in the denominator. Now, this is not an uh, approximation. That is perfect job done, correct? The error, this, was causing estimation. Is it okay? So, what we land up with is the fifth root of 2 over 3 to the power of 5 times... We have 3 here, 
divided by some error e. Is that okay? So that's the error e. Now this is equal to 2 over 3 times fifth root of 3 divided by some error, right? Okay. So I'm using epsilon and e separately, but I hope it's not making confusion. Now, I will also like you to figure out what are the fifth roots of numbers like 2, fifth root of numbers like 3, and fifth root of numbers like 4, and so on. Correct? Now, since this is important formula, you should know these figures. So fifth root is also 2 to the power of 0 0.2, which is uh, for me 1.14. 8, I'm approximating this to 9, and 3 to the power of 0.2 is 1.245, I'm approximating to 6, and 4 to the power of 0.2 is 1.3, let me write this as 320, is it okay? So, so likewise, we have some numbers which will help us to uh, fine-tune the solution. You get my point. Okay, so the idea here is now to multiply 2 over 3 with a number which is close to this number. Since we have to divide this, I have to take a smaller number. Is that okay? So let me take a smaller number, let's say 1.24, which is not bad. Okay, so what I will do here now is I'll multiply 2 over 3 with 1.24 since that is slightly lower than that right so it takes care of our error introduced okay now if you could simplify now it's simple so it's 0 0.41 is that okay and uh, maybe 3 maybe right so if you go further if you divide uh, uh, 1 times is 3 and then 10, so maybe 3, right? So if you multiply this, what do you get? So of the approximation, since we have done this approximation at this stage, let me write this approximately, the result now is 2 times all this, which is 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, and we get 0 0.826 as our result. So that is how we could actually estimate. Now let me calculate the real answer which is 0 0.36244195 and let's do the power of 0 0.2 which is fifth root. Uh, so the real answer here is the real answer here is uh, 0 0.81629. Is it okay? What do we get? We get 0 0.2, for example, since we did an estimate here, correct? If you would have estimated this as, instead of, I rounded it here, if you would have estimated this as, let us say, 1.22, you might have got a better result, closer to this value. So it all really depends on how you estimate this number. Do you see that? So this estimate results into a small error as you can see and that is the whole idea of estimating. Perfect. But I hope with this you have a fairly good idea of uh, approximating and estimating. So you have to work on this number 9.81, that gravitational force, how to round this up to get more accurate results. So with some practice, I think it should be very easy to find the fifth root for your examples. I hope that helps. Feel free to share your comments and views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be good for me. Thank you and all the best.